GM fam, it's Daito here, and today we're excited to show you a simple technique that should enable your character to progress through the Abattoir of Zir. Now, what you're seeing is a tier 12 clear using my Ball Lightning Sorcerer. But the beauty of this technique is any class that can generate a barrier on a consistent basis should be able to take advantage of stacking this important defensive stat. And that stat is damage reduction while injured. So, before we get into the details of this build, if you enjoy this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Your support means the world to me. Okay, let's dive in. So, even without the Heart of Selig, as long as you can stack Injured Damage Reduction on three pieces of gear and have near 100% uptime on a barrier, you can become immortal. Now the footage you're seeing now is a typical tier 9 speedrun I do in order to level my glyph. And there are multiple occasions where I survive poison blasts and other types of damage that would typically one-shot you. Now we have to give a huge shout out to Arcuid, who is the player that put this technique on our radar. Now, let's explain how this technique works and the changes we made to Arcuid's build in order to fit our needs. First, you need to stack injured damage reduction on your pants, amulet, and boots. That's right, your boots can have injured damage reduction. And for this fact alone, it's hard for me to envision any other defensive technique beating this out. The ability to have one stat on your boots contribute such a significant portion of your defenses is astounding. Now, the next key element in this build is the Resilience Vampiric Power. For each 2% of life you're missing, you gain 1% of damage reduction. Since your character is constantly injured, you're getting a massive amount of damage reduction from this power. Lastly, you need a barrier. A barrier is critical because it will absorb any amount of damage that's able to make it through your defenses. Now with the Heart of Selig, your mana absorbs this residual damage. But if you're like 99% of the players out there that don't have that uber unique, a barrier is a magnificent replacement. Now, let's look at what Arcuid did to ensure they have a consistent barrier. The first thing you would notice in their build is they were so desperate for cooldown reduction that they put Ice Blades as their second enchantment. Summoned Ice Blades provides 20% of its cooldown reduction to your other skills. So they're using Ice Blades as their enchantment to spawn another Ice Blade after they use 40 seconds of cooldowns. They're doing this just so they can eke out as much cooldown reduction as possible in order to maintain a barrier from our protection skill. If you've seen some of our previous videos, you know we hate Ice Blades. I think they're slow, they do crappy damage, and they don't chill enough targets. So, what did we use instead of Ice Blades to ensure we have 100% uptime on our barrier? That's right, fam. <laughs> the Oculus is back, baby. Not only does the Oculus give us 15 ranks to our teleport skill, and it drastically reduces its cooldown, the Oculus also turns our dodge into a teleport. So if you ever find yourself without a cooldown, have no fear. 
simply dodge to refresh your barrier and be on your merry killing way. Now the last major difference we have in our version of this build is we're currently running the aspect of control in our amulet instead of gravitational. The reason is simple. Control gives us a ginormous 53% multiplicative damage boost instead of 38%. That's pretty much it, fam. <laughs> I promise, promise, promise that you are going to love playing this build. There is nothing more satisfying than teleporting all across the stage, pulling the mobs together in a tight ball with the raiment of the infinite, freezing them with your Frost Nova, and melting them down, knowing that your Hoarfrost ability is giving you another 18% multiplicative damage boost. Our gear is nowhere near optimized, and we've still cleared a tier 12. I don't even have the exploiters aspect in my boots, which would add another 40% multiplicative damage boost to all the enemies that turn unstoppable as we're showering them with our crowd control effects. I don't even have plus ranks to all mastery and hoarfrost on my amulet, which would add who the hell knows how much damage. I am loving the abattoir right now, but I'm in no rush to push. I'm just really enjoying the game and I will continue sharing updates with you all as the season progresses. So. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments what you plan on doing to maintain a barrier. And until next time, happy hunting, fam.